who wants to make five bucks? How? I need someone to take the fall. Oh, my God. What did you do? I can't tell you. Yes or no, no questions asked. Oh, my God! Make it ten. Done. Oh, my God! You're a good son. I got him, honey! I got him, don't worry! Ahoy, tent pirates, plant parents, conscious consumers, and the morbidly curious. Welcome to Cultivation Conversation, a podcast for growers by growers. Come chat with our hosts, Captain Autoflower, the real green monster, and myself, Girl Go Grow. Grab a bouquet of your favorite flowers, apparatus of choice, and don't forget the fire while I tell you about the special companies that help keep this ship afloat. We are busy people and we demand the best for our plants. So all three of us automate our grows with Autopots. Available in over 63 countries, gravity powered Autopot systems rely on no pumps, no timers, and no power to operate. This plant driven automated watering is so precise, it will reduce consumption of feed while increasing yield. An effective and efficient way to delegate a little responsibility. Let your plants feed themselves. Use code CC10 at autopot-usa.com. If quality is the name of your game, look no further than AC Infinity. AC Infinity's grow tents, lights, accessories, and ventilation systems offer reliability and affordability along with total environmental control. Use code CULTIVATION on acinfinity.com to save even more. Frass Valley produces the highest quality superworm frass. Naturally strengthen your plants and enhance their resistance to pests and disease. Use code CC10 at FrassValley.com. We are big fans of Mass Hydroponics. Whether you're a local in Massachusetts or accessing their full online catalog, they are your one-stop shop for all of your growing needs. Use code CC10 at Mass-Hydro.com. smell <laughs> that's good everything's showing yeah, nice yeah that's you know beautiful weather out today can't beat it i got some some fresh cannabis in my jar mm-hmm. where, which is right here that i'm excited about nothing we beats got. some fresh pulled weed out your out your dry tent right so, uh, this is uh, the Alabrije Free He. Ooh. Free, Alabrije Free He. Did I say Free He? I meant Free He. You did. Free He. <laughs> the f- Alabrije Free He. Um, and it is uh, Star Crunch crossed with Dog Walker. Came with your ta- tangy Tibuguana pack. Is it Dog Walker, D O G, or D O D A W G? D A W G. Dog walker. Dog. So like. Dog. Walker. Where my dogs at? It's got that dog in it. Oof. Um. And yeah, this one like is still a little moist. I gotta say, like we were talking about our preferred RH last show, and this this when I have it sealed up in jars is at sixty five. Mm-hmm. So a little too too moist for my preferences, but I shall be burping the jar, and you know what? It's it's still good enough to smoke, and um, like holy meat terps. I just gotta say, like this Ooh. is those chem. Sometimes the chem comes through as meat. I don't know yeah, what it meat. is. <laughs> no, it, it, it's it's that like they're all in the same. Like family, you know what I mean? Like that, like burnt rubber, like burnt wire smelling fucking yeah, charred, yeah, yeah. fucking like 
yeah. like the like a, a like a ballpark hot dog that's been on the grill for too long. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the that ones like... at Seven <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. You just go in, little... the things just just spinning and spinning. It's been there since fucking nineteen seventy two. It's keeps just running. yeah. It, but but you know it. You know it's got some condensed flavor in the inside that that log of meat. You know. <laughs> There's a cut. Oh my god! That's, that's, how, that's how you get get the flavor, man. You leave the the ballpark dog on the grill for a little too long. Inside that log of meat. <laughs> anyway, yo, monster. I think I you are. I oh, think you it? are frozen, video wise, but it doesn't look frozen mm, on my end. That's fucking uh, great. I'm just gonna hope you come back to us. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that everything Oliveri Hay has sent me has not had meat in it. You so didn't get a, any meat, no meat, nothing. Because he does a lot of crosses with that dog walker, he does. you know what I mean? I don't think, so from him I've grown, I'm definitely missing one at least. Dazed Sibrana, Tangy Tip Iguana. Am I back? You are. Oh, Pantorania. No, nothing. I've not grown. No? Yeah. He's back from me. He's, He's back, back from me. From yes. Right. I was just Good. talking right. about Alibrihe meat terps. I don't think I've grown <laughs> anything from him that has meat terps in it. Everything has been. Well, maybe you haven't. You just don't know it. You, you, you just, don't. you need to get some G3. Like, I'm going to give yeah. you some of this, you know, and you, you pick me up with some of yours. Some of that meat log. Um, I need some meat. <laughs> you need some of this meat log G3. <laughs> that's, that's, but honestly... <laughs> Honestly, like I've said it before, like the chem and the meat, like it, it hits me in the right way. It is, it, it's just delicious, man. It's like mouth coating flavor. You get it on the exhale and it's like a heavy stone. You know what I mean? You get like ripped from this type of stuff. Oh yeah. His it's stuff like that, always that fire. pure Michigan meat, you know? Boy doesn't miss. Yep. No. He has a no. drop coming up soon. BT dubs. He does. I think it's like yeah. the. Oh, I want to say May seventeenth, but I don't know if that's right or not. It's I in a couple of weeks. It was in like two Sleepy weeks. wear cow. At least he didn't line it up for May fourth. Another one of those stupid fucking <laughs> May the fourth be with you bullshit. Well, today's May the eighth, so May and eighth of weed be with you. Yes, I saw that one, and I don't mind that one. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, I'm looking on his page. I don't see. <coughs> I forget what it's, but yeah. Anyway, an an Alabriahe drop is coming. So yeah, mark it's your calendar. It's drowsy Lavaca. I'm looking for it's my. It's what fucking... I'm growing right now. She's fucking huge, huge. She's yeah. taking up like almost all of, like she's taking up a big amount of my four by four, and she is 39 days old. Damn. Hasn't even really started stretching around a lot yet. Jeez. Yeah, thir- so thirty nine, and she hasn't. Thirty nine days. Well, she's started, but it like she hasn't gotten. She's still bushy, you know. She's still like round, like a bush. When she starts getting you. those arms out, that's when you really feel. So she's in it now. She's just not anywhere close to done. But yeah, Word. she's great. Here, real, like real quick, Big funny, ass funny chat comment. <laughs> After weeks of listening to the podcast at 1.5 speed to get caught up, you guys sound so drunk and stoned at regular speed. Oh, my God. Well, you're definitely stoned. From Frosty the Grow Man. I am yes. horrified to think of what I would sound like at 1.5 speed. Try it. My listen, deepest listen apologies. Ugh, you, no, thank you. you never like your the sound of your own voice anyway, no, generally. So. Not. Well, because it sounds different in your own head than it does yeah. to... Truth. People outside your head. Truth. Um, well, yo, real quick, while we're on the topic of Alabrihe, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this secret, the Ooh. secret pack. Do you see what that says? 2024 testers. That's right. I'm just going to read. Like, I, I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are. But That's we're going to read. point. We got... Tangy crossed with marathon. I'm assuming that's tangy tibiguana crossed with marathon. marathon OG, OG sounds fucking flame. I mean, flame anything emoji. tangy tibiguana is it is. 
in that marathon OG was that um, you know photo, photo to autocross from Night Owl. Mm-hmm. Very good. I grew one of those. It was like pink and golf ball nugs. Ooh. Very funky. Oh man, Very pink funky. with the colors of mm-hmm. tiny. That's gonna be pretty. This one is called Blue Zorim Zormiga. Blue Zormiga. So it's blue Zoroso crossed with what? Miga. Me- Miga. <laughs> right. yeah, I don't What's know. Amiga? I don't know. I don't know. Like Amiga. I gotta brush up on my Spanish. Friend of Blue Zoroso. That's as good a guess as any. Is Blue Zoroso's girlfriend? Okay, we'll go with that. Could be boyfriend. You got a. Uh... Well, Amiga is girl, right? Amiga. True. Is boy. Can't judge these. The a days. and the O is like. They have gendered. The language, language. itself is gendered, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean. So this one says Chem Labrata. Labrata. had me a Chem. Yeah, right. I know, you know I'll be uh, pa- popping that one pretty quickly. And then, as if those three weren't cool enough, he sends me this one, which is just called Captain. <laughs> that's, I don't know if that's I, ominous you know. <laughs> or <laughs> what. <laughs> <laughs> I I assume it's it's uh something something that needs to be popped. So yeah, well, we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, exactly. Um, once I have a little bit of room. Oh, and you I'm are sure. all like all about the photos too. <laughs> well, you know, I'll pop the f- my love affair with photos and autos. It it wanes and it it ebbs and it flows with. I don't know. Yes, waxes and wanes. Yeah, it's it's just it they're both awesome. They're both like they both fit my lifestyle in a lot of ways. Like so they have you just have purposes. Truth. And um you know, when when you get a plant like this one and I'm sure that my Salmoso OG is going to be just as good and delicious and flavorful and all that stuff. Like, when you get two of them in a row like that from, you know, same breeder, you're just, like, you're pretty stoked on it, you know? So it's stick with what you're you're getting good results with. It's also a, a core principle, right? Yep. I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes I f- fuck up my photo grows. They're, I'm still not, like, the most seasoned photo grower. I'm, I'm working on it, you know? You're a grower. You're going to fuck yeah. up grows, period. That's part of being a grower. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's truth. No, G3, I am a master grower, and I know everything. Oh, yes? That means no, you're not learning I don't, anything I don't, new. I don't, I don't. <laughs> uh, how could anyone call themselves such a thing, truly? Such a stupid term. Yeah, that's when hubris comes knocking on the door. <laughs> well, it's truly, truly, it's like the, the level of arrogance needed to say such a thing now what you got there monster what you smoking on tonight some anaphylaxis that's medical strength mm. that is uh peanut butter breath cross with deadly sativa always always sounds so good i was reading it's a good po- i was reading a post that he put up about his prayer glue which is another mm-hmm. one of you know, your favorite smokes you're always talking yeah. about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like, yeah, that made me really, really want that damn thing. <laughs> he's a, uh, he's a unique dude. I have a love hate relationship with mass. And I tell him that all the time. It's like, he, he, uh, he like really, really hates cookies. And like, I, like I get it. Right. But like to say that, like, all cookie strains are terrible and they have no benefit to you at all. It's, it's just a such a broad statement that I just find, quite frankly, ridiculous. Um, you know, so I don't agree with him on that shit. And then, you know, he's been really pushing his metal halide lights lately, which, which is mm-hmm. cool. Like, look, if I've said it before on the show, if electricity was free, I'd rock metal halides. They grow great herb. But it, electricity is not free. You, you you have to pay more money to run just the wattage alone. And you, we haven't even talked about cooling them yet because you need more cooling as well. So it just 
it's not practical for most home growers especially since we're all growing in tents and shit like yeah. you really want to stick a thousand watt metal halide in a fucking tent i don't no um so you know look um he goes he has these like things that he just like rides on hard and and continues you know down the path so uh but the man produces fire herb He's got some i will i will always uh give him props for that i love his gear amen and, he's and that's all like, you know as long as he's not kicking puppies you know, <laughs> we're, we're, we're cool word word well yeah check out mass medical definitely uh like east coast uh you know east coast breeder for sure yeah you native can, to you mass can get them uh get them at mass hydro has them and then well-grown seeds carries them as well yeah, and i know he's your, on a bunch of other ones but use your those are two local guys. discount at mass hydro yeah what g3 are you smoking mango smile no no, I did no, not expect. Unfortunately, that. Um, so I didn't have any time because I ran in the door from work. So when I work till close, it's very cl- tight. So I just have this extract, this sugar sap. Oh, an extract. Yeah. Yep. It's not mine. I got it from the dispensary, and I just use it on like super late show nights. I just like that it has a lot of terpinoline in it. So, yay, she's good. Cool. Cool. Tastes lovely. Yeah, but I do miss my mangoes. I just, I didn't have enough time to like grind it all up and bring it all down and pack a cone. Just didn't have enough time. Well, no worries. Now take Afterwards. a little bit of time. Take take a puff. <laughs> you know, puff puff. Get high. Mm-hmm. We're not I'm gonna we're not gonna sure. continue the show until you consume some cannabis I, immediately. Oh, I'm good. Don't you worry. Okay, Didn't no. you see me in pre-show? <laughs> Jesus. I'm just, I'm just playing. Like a dying woman. I'm just playing. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> Yo. What's up, guys? Yo, and uh, everyone else in the chat, welcome. Welcome to our little show here in our yes. corner Thank of the internet. Thank you so much for joining us. We're thrilled you're here. We Except are. for Johnny. <laughs> We love you, Johnny. I hope, uh, yeah, we're going to have you a little, you know, spill the beans here, but yeah. Johnny will be on next week. Only the live people get to know that shit, so. Mm-hmm. You know? Cool. Well, Johnny. so guys, guys, have you heard of triploid <laughs> cannabis or triploid anything for that matter? Do you know what a triploid is? I know a little bit about it, and I've been obviously hearing a lot of mumblings lately. But I'm, I'm a little bit out of the loop on the, I guess you'd say the, the main drama going on right now. So, just it is. It's a lot of drama, but the core start of with, it is important. Yeah, what's what's a triploid, right? Like, what are we even doing? What are we talking about? If, to my understanding, it is a. A way to breed cannabis to, like, my words are going to fail me. Here, let me just look I up a fucking definition for just, it. Like, the trichomes are wacky. So, like, they grow with three leaves instead of two. And generally, from what I had heard previously, they were not necessarily great sh- growers and showers. You know what I mean? They just kind of didn't thrive and weren't super stable which that was my knowledge of oh wow this is cool when it shows up it's kind of this genetic abnormality but then you don't really expect a lot from them after that so that's where my like coming into this was from yeah i mean i'm completely against anything that's going to be sterile sterile genetics to me just like that's a (laughs) <laughs> so that's a step correct, backwards. Correct. It that's that is one of the reasons why they are breeding these triploids is because they are sterile. Um examples of other triploids you've encountered in your day-to-day life are like the bananas and the strawberries and the grapes and all the other tasteless garbage fruit that they sell you at the grocery store. Like hooray for triploids. They're wonderful, aren't they? They love them as, as commercial agriculture, agriculture growers because they don't have to worry about seeding 
and like not you know having quality fruit to eat at the yeah. end or yeah. flour you have to buy all cultivars from fucking monsanto correct and they like we talked about last show it also opens up the door for patenting such genetics and having to to sell the farmer more seed at the beginning of every season mm -hmm. so like it, it to my you know i don't really see why as a home grower you'd want to seek out a triploid um well you it's know, all they've been they've been marketed as a better cannabis there like there is also okay like so i hate i'm sorry to cut you off but like no, no. there is also um there are some benefits to the triploid too and like to my understanding also mac one is a naturally occurring triploid one of i think we could all say like you know one of the powerhouse strains of like the last 10 years well, people have bred with it though but it's notoriously difficult isn't it Yo, isn't yeah yeah case? 100%. yeah um, it definitely like, is it can be done but like it is also like yeah really really tough so like it's a naturally occurring triploid, which is different than the type of triploid that like a big seed company would be trying to produce in a sense. Um, so, I mean, again, I am not a scientist, so like maybe you want to just research what the triploids are to begin with, but what I, that's what I can give you background info. Okay. It's genetically funky cannabis. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's got three sets of chromosomes or instead of two or three sets of parental lineage instead of two. So it's like, it's, what is it? Down syndrome cannabis? Is no, it got an extra I think chromosome? That's closer to like fasciation, I think is closer to that. That's like a cannabis. Specific, <laughs> that's a specific, um, specific chromosome that it has three of. Okay, okay. So it's a little, little different. Understood. Yeah. So there's some wonky DNA ness going on, for Correct. whatever reason. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Some, some very sure. wonky. So very like wonky. there was an idea, I guess, to take this relatively unstable but somewhat commonplace genetic abnormality and run with it, kind of like what they've done with variegation. Um, you know, I mean, even like purples in some cases started with some weird genetic showing and they they ran with it. So they decided to run down this genetic vein with these triploids. It's it's a strange thing. So uh, the the benefit being like at scale in an outdoor field, you could grow at the same scale as like wheat in a, a huge field because you wouldn't have to worry about cross pollination or any seeding of your crop because it's all sterile. Like you don't have to separate males, I assume, because the males aren't going to pollinate the females. Like you just let them all grow and you have a bunch of fucking top shelf weed at the end of it. If, if done correctly, right? Like, so that's, that's the appeal for like commercial ag. Again, I don't really know why, as a home grower, I want that. I see it as a, like a, a major, major step backwards for cannabis. Like, I think this is alarming to me. Yeah, that you're little... start that you're starting to see this trend, right? Like, it it fucking makes me sick, really, quite frankly. Like, because like people are gonna want to do the same thing. Right, create these unstable fucking sterile genetics, touting them as superior genetics. When, like, what if everybody? Not saying that's going to happen, but what if every breeder did this? We, you know, we, it's fucked. well. Then, then you'd have like the type of situation I talked about with like the fruit in the grocery store. You know what I mean? Because like, it it's all triploids. It's all like. They, they say it's a step forward, but like your taste buds will tell you it's a step backwards. You know, like the, 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 the seedless watermelons of today taste nothing like a watermelon. Okay. Like the bananas so we have, to, yeah, we talked yeah. about the bananas. I'm not going to lie. Like this came to mind as well. And they, you know, I've been known to be a conspiracy theorist every now and then, but 
it is funny timing Absolutely. with your scheduling. Agreed, Charles. Um, it because <laughs> if, if the government had it that their way, you know, everybody would be growing fucking sterile Monsanto. auto Monsanto Monsanto uh, autos. Yeah. yeah. So it's so just like, gonna be super high THC percentages with zero terps. I just I don't know. Same thing. <laughs> probably, <Excellent>. yeah. Probably. <laughs> At the Probably. end of the day, the home grower really shouldn't be too affected by it. But like this, and I don't want to go back on it, but like the rescheduling of cannabis and everything, like none of that makes me warm and fuzzy inside at all. Um, no. How at all. is your post-apocalyptic seed collection? <laughs> I got a oh, motherfucking vault. It's, <laughs> like I said, it, it is the best time ever to start your seed collection. Or to add to it. And and look, everybody out there should at least chuck pollen at least once just to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, make your own seeds. It's a pretty Good rewarding trade. experience. So I, I think that he, if more people bred their own shit um, and learned how to do that, it's only going to benefit you in the long run. You know, Because if, I don't think maybe in our lifetime, but maybe in our children's lifetime... I think it's going to be harder and harder to find regular cannabis seeds and because you know people are also pushing towards fems as well yeah and and uh i don't know it's, you know if all you can get is feminized seeds and then you're left with just being able to s1 shit and mm -hmm. maybe not even that because they'll be sterile so i mean i don't know yeah, yeah man the the regs are going to be harder and harder to come by you are right you are right I'll tell you what, that's, by and large, if I grow photos, that's what I want, is regs. Yeah, I mean, the, the people shouldn't fear regular seeds. We, we have an episode, nah, don't fear the regular don't, seed. Don't fear the reg seed. A lot friends. of people do, though, man. A lot of people do. Like, now, I've said far it before. More stable. Far more stable. I don't stable. really like regular autos. I probably won't ever pop. Too many regular autos. You know what I, I like have... about regular fo regular seeds is that the boys are the boys and the girls are the girls. <laughs> <laughs> They're not confused like these newfangled seeds. <laughs> this new generation. Oh God. <laughs> but th that's the truth, man. Like I, f I do find a lot more stability in regular seeds. That's just truth, you know. I saw something the other day, and I, I wish I saved it. It was some, I don't know, study. I don't know how incredible it was, but basically like X amount of regular seeds, X amount of feminized seeds, then they found higher intersex traits with the feminine seeds. So people always say that like feminines, you know, F1s or whatever, uh, S1s shouldn't be more likely to harm, but I think that that's becoming more apparently false. Um, you know, you probably are more likely to get harmed. Oh, with, with it has to be, dude. It has to be. Yeah. I'm not saying that, that like everybody's feminized is like that, but like if there was a chance to have that happen, I think it's far more likely with feminized seed. Well, you are introducing like the hermaphroditic trait into one of your seed parents and like one of your seeds, immediate parent and you know what I mean? Like it's immediate ancestor. It's right there in the genetic lineage. You know, you forced its parent to become a herm. So it's, it's the traits there. Yep. It just is. Um, but so anyway, backing it on up, backing on, the, on up to the, the great triploid train wreck of 2024. There, these seeds, okay, <clears throat> these these monster seeds, these Franken beans, whatever you want to call them, were there was a grow along, a grow off, a hunt, hunt, hunt on a, another YouTube channel. Like you know, a bunch of influencers got together, they hyped these seeds up big time, you know dressed up as hunters and they got to join the hunt you know they they, they charged 30 dollars 
per seed Jeez, for tough. these triploid seeds because they are new, they're cutting edge, right? Go fuck yourself. They're they're hype. Thirty dollars a seed. Thirty bucks a bean. Yep. Dude, there are people that seeds. charge. I, I I know people. I can get a pack of beans for fucking thirty dollars. Come on now. It, yeah. Right. I, I I could show you people selling a, a six pack for thirty bucks. Like it's that's like outrageous. Outrageous. You know. <laughs> Especially since the results coming in have not been good. To say the least. For 30 bucks a seed, that have, stuff better be guaranteed. We are talking about instable, unstable to the max. Like almost like a like a very high percentage of herms. You know, like it's almost everyone growing them that has a, a YouTube channel had some issues. Not not good, you know, like so one of the big issues too, and I, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It was Humboldt Seed Company who was who was pushing these. Humboldt Seed Co. Who I've always heard that's good things cool about. Name. You know, yeah, like they have a uh, blueberry whatever. That's the one. Are blueberry muffin. Like the yeah, look, I, I've never heard a bad word about them until this. Never heard a bad word about them until this. Always mm-hmm. supposed to have been a reputable brand. You know, they've been around for like ten plus years. Um, another one I, I know of theirs off the top of my head, Magic Melon. Is um, Hella Jelly there? Yeah, Hella yep. Jelly. Yep, yep, yep. So, you know, good, good rep. Yeah, but as we absolutely. know, it takes, it takes years to build a reputation, but only seconds to destroy it. Because one of the, one of the issues that cropped up here in this, the great triploid train wreck of 2024 was that after growers started to experience issues and they're posting their their findings and their Discord and all the pictures are coming in and YouTube videos start popping up, their website changes and the description of the seeds no longer recommends them for indoor cultivation. And the price has also dropped in half, by the way. So, like, you know, people who paid 30 bucks a bean, like, fuck you. They're now 15 a bean, and, like, you're only supposed to grow them outdoors. Huh? Yeah, man. That It was like, people, people were like, whoa, what the fuck's going on? Because we signed up for this indoor grow along, right? This, this hunt. Everyone knows is going to be a bunch of indoor gardeners. What's the logic behind not growing it indoors? Uh- because I guess all the all the all the herms were coming from the indoor gardeners. To my knowledge, like they grow all their their testing plants, they grow a bunch of them, and they're all done outdoors. In the fields of Humboldt, you know, under the California sun. So, so like, what are guys yeah. like me supposed to do out here in the Northeast, where it's kind of tough to grow outdoors? Shut up and take your well, herms. Yeah. yeah, we didn't make them for you, <laughs> really? but like we also like got you in this grow grow along and charge you all this money for the seeds and hyped them up. Like it's just it's bad. It's a bad look all around for everybody. It's you know I, I don't know what else really to say. It's just my advice is to not jump on hype trains, especially not like the first edition hype train of anything. There's bound to be bugs, right? Yeah. As with anything in this community, it's buyer beware. Do your due diligence on literally everything you buy. Everything. Because if it doesn't work, then you're just wasting your time and money. The results are all that matters. You know what I mean? Like, you got you had a bunch of, like, working class people who spent their hard-earned money, you know, a bunch of, like, blue-collar growers, tent pirates like us, who spent 30 bucks a bean and dedicated, like, a couple months of their tent time to growing these freak genetics, and then, like, the the old bait-and-switch happened, and they changed the description, and then 
Is like, dude, so it was, it was a train wreck, bombs? man. Is that th so they don't have to make people so, fall? <laughs> there, there is a YouTube video. They came on. They, they went on a stream, and they, like, they talk to the community about all of this, okay? And I'm getting a, I'm getting bad feedback. Is it? Are you hearing that G3? Mm -hmm. I think that's you, monster. The oh, fuck. I'm getting a little bit of like <laughs> I'm a worse game? mic fuck. noise just turn or your something. Game down. Yeah, just a little bit. It's all there all better go. now. All better now. That's much better. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can't hear him though. He probably muted himself. Yeah, I muted myself <laughs> while I try to fix the shit. Uh, I know how his mind works, <laughs> but you know, where, where was I anyway? Like the, you know, I, again, I, I'm not involved with it directly guys. Like I'm, I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up, you know, <laughs> beware the slick, you know, well edited YouTube videos pleading for you to join in on like being a tester for something that's brand new basically i just i feel for all the people out there who had problems and now mm -hmm. have to either cut their plants or start from scratch and, or like the, and the thing is g3 like you asked about the refunds <laughs> in in the live stream they basically like they did not answer that question one bit like they said everything except yes we are giving growers who had issues refunds which tells me that there's no fucking refunds like you spent your money and now it's you know oh well i don't know i it mean sucks. it would be good for them to come out and say yes we will offer refunds but even the act of doing that they'll get way more people like jumping on that than if they only deal with those that call in and bitch about it do you know what i mean like the squeaky wheel gets the grease so if you call and complain about it maybe they'll do something for you but they're not just going to say to everybody who was in the grow along sure we'll give you your money back well, that's bad business practice. that was also part of the issue g3 they should at that, least offer them a free pack of beans they that didn't I respond to anyone's with. anyone's messages they didn't like you know there was no email sent out to everyone who had purchased the seeds there was no like direct communication coming from their own instagram or website or anything they just in you know the dead of night switched the, str the strain description and lowered the prices and yeah they just very very weird stuff man there. very weird stuff so like you know just Beware, guys. Beware. That's all we tell you. We tell you that all the time. But, like, you know, hype trains are dangerous, man. They can crash. I don't know. Unless somebody can tell me... Uh... <laughs> Unless somebody can tell me otherwise, like I said, I, I've never heard a bad word about them until this. So that really sucks. So mm -hmm. what I have heard about, you know, Humboldt, despite a couple of their seed offerings being, like, pretty well-known, like, Blue, blueberry muffin is that they did a couple other weird practices like they offered a like a train wreck strain or headband i think it was one of the two that, like a known clone only strain okay that they tried to reproduce in seed form and then they call it train wreck interesting it's like so but it's it's not train wreck. train wreck like you as a breeder should know that it's not like the clone only train wreck it is just like call it something else that like maybe references train wreck but it's just not good practices to do that it's 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 deceptive at the very least you know what yeah, i mean yeah like you could at least call it like humboldt's train wreck yeah yeah like they basically tried to do the same thing joint did with blueberry he recreated his own blueberry and he called it's it joints blue joints, joints blueberry, blueberry. Mm -hmm. correct so it's like yeah you're you're at least like yeah, not trying to claim that it's something that it's not. So, mm. you know, that that is what I have heard. Again, just I don't deal with these people. I don't know anything about it. Just don't get involved in drama out there. And uh, don't jump on any moving hype trains. <sighs> what a shame. It is. It is. Um, but moving forward, pressing forward now, what you guys got going on in, in the gardens? 
Uh, I've been getting ready, uh, focusing a lot right now on the outdoor, trying to get yeah. that up and running. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna. Whirl. I am, but I'm gonna do it outside this year at my house, um, and I'm gonna do uh, the XXLs in a water only grow. I have a 200 gallon um, flexi tank. Whoa. And, Ooh, that's yeah, that's a hundred. That's a swimming pool. Yeah, two hundred <laughs> gallons. Is that as big as a kiddie pool? It's got to be. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty damn big. Yeah, it's pretty damn big. But um, it should be interesting to see uh, some some soil, some soil grown uh, outdoor. We're gonna see how I it really want to see what a two hundred gallon flexi tank looks like. Yeah, man. You'll. <laughs> I'll be doing an IG live. Pictures. Good, because I want to see, because I can't, with, uh, I really need to know pot. how that's, like, rigid. I think it's on side. the 16th, I want to say. We're, I'm scheduled to do a live with Autopot. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit about, it's funny, there's a big misconception that you can't use Autopots outside. I hear it a lot. Yeah, why would um, people think that? I don't know. That's why I sound so confused. It, it, to me, it, it. They go hand in hand. I mean, I don't know. They make that spider, right? Mm -hmm. That's specifically for, for outside. Like raised so you'd imagine beds and if stuff. that's for outside, then everything mm -hmm. can be for mm -hmm. outside. But I mean, any type of Autopod setup, even a fucking tray. I, I mean, probably not the best ideal setup. But yeah, Little Autopods mosquitoes. work. Don't do that. Work, don't do tray work, grows work. outside. <laughs> they work right outside. Um, yeah, as mosquito nurseries. Don't do that. <laughs> no. You, I'm saying just Autopods in general. A yes. couple of tips. You just you want to try to keep your reservoir out of the sun, right? You don't want that mm. shit uh, getting beat up. Uh, also, I like to dig like a just like a one foot trench for the tubing from the reservoir to go to where the plants are, just so it's not baking in the sun, because that shit will it'll heat up. Like if you don't, I promise you, the water going to your plants will be like a hundred degrees. Oh you know, gosh, and your plants will not like that. Nah, they didn't seem to mind it too much, but they um, they they'll adapt. But it's just not ideal. You're you're asking for issues, so don't don't do that. And also, uh, Active Aqua makes white flexible tubing um, that that is amazing. It's like a double walled line tubing. It's you know that regular just shit that you get you know with the Autopods. That that stuff mm -hmm. works fine. Mm -hmm. But for the outdoor, I like the the white Active Aqua flexible uh, tubing. You can't kink it either. It's like kink proof, and that white lining really does help make a difference. Keep that those water cool. lines a little cooler. Yeah, I bet. I bet. It's like wearing wearing a black shirt out in the sun, man. A hot day. Yeah. It's not a good yeah. idea. Mm -mm. Well, I'm excited to see that, man. I I mean, are you? So are, what strain are you growing? To be determined. All right. I, have, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, it's a tough leaning choice. Towards, I'm leaning towards the sauce because nice. it's, a, it's a pretty quick finisher. That BGG. Um, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Find yourself I, a quick one. I, I, uh, I, I also have thought about doing autos. Uh, however, I don't know... Quite frankly, if it would be a waste to do auto autos and you know thirteen gallon XXL fucking auto pots, like I don't know if they would even fill the get to their potential, you know. Especially uh, early on in the season, we're not getting you know the, the most sun, so I I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I I've been weighing a lot of my options, and there's just so many decisions, man. I mean, I I got a, a few different things that. I've been gnarring over, but we'll we'll see. I, I'll I'll be decided by next week because I kind of have the shit I get off the pot. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It is time to make a decision. But Johnny says, uh, "Where did he go? Where did he go?" Holy shit! If you said he says, if you stunt them, it would be a waste. He's referring yeah. to the autos. Yeah, my gallons. first it's my first attempt at growing autos organically were stunted bad. So, mm. um, yeah. Gotcha. So he's just yeah. making a personal dig at you. That's that's fine. That's I, hey, <laughs> hey, you know, 
like I said, you know, I'm a salt guy, you know, and I've grown plenty of autos and salts, and I had great luck. First time I tried organics, I ended up with like a four gram Odin Sons. Came out fire though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. But it was like four grams, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what, man, like like I was saying, it's like you are more comfortable in the photo lane. Mm-hmm. So like fucking drive in that lane. You know what I mean? Just do your thing. Find find a a quick finishing photo, and like try to harvest her. Boof. Like when did you get issues last year? It was like October, right? Yeah, I got um. The fuck's his name? You enjoy my dank? Sent me the Ken DMT. Oh, nice. And uh, he's really trying to push me hard to run that one. So uh, right, Ken's we'll pretty long. The flowers. Though. That's what I was saying, but he was he was saying no. He's like, you can get it to finish. Blah 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 blah. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. The other the other option you, you have too is if you really want to do it, you can you can do you know you can tarp, do some depths. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really have the time for that. Yeah, right. It takes a lot of work. It sure does. So that what is that involves what basically like making a tent outside a tent for so, your tent so you you can like yeah make you, a you dark would, period when it's sunny yeah so you just you try to th- initiate the dark period sooner so that way you can get because what happens is you're waiting for the the hours of the day to go below like fifteen fourteen for it to start flowering. And oh, gotcha. And so you can initiate so, flowering in like early August, maybe. Yeah, and then you, you only have to do it for a little while, and then you just let Mother Nature take over. Hmm. Um, but like I said, man, that's that's a fucking lot of work. Yeah, it takes yeah, some. It, is. it takes some. It takes some dedication. You got to be right on game. I've seen people do it with like electric motors and shit like that, but like I, I don't have the time to engineer something like that right now. I just don't. Well, just do exactly what you did last year. It, fucking pray for better weather at the end of the season. Yeah. And, like, I, I'm going to keep it a lot simpler this year. Um, I'm actually going to be doing it in my in my own backyard, so I'm not going to have a greenhouse. I, I do plan on building some sort of shelter um, just to keep them a little bit out of the rain, but I'm not fucking with the greenhouse anymore. Um it just it's where that greenhouse is located at my buddy's house it's just too it's too risky he's way way too close to the ocean and it's just like we 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 already have enough going against us you know when i could fucking spit and hit hit the ocean it's just it's it's a lot it's, of i don't humidity. think it, it's just not a good recipe for success oh. in my opinion Man, yeah, you know Strong Island. I see him, man. He had he had issues last year too. Remember, so, he he was growing those huge uh, neurotoxins from joint. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, y'all got bud rot last, and stuff. Last dude. year sucked for me. The year before was awesome. We crushed it. It was amazing. No problems. The year before that, terrible. So I I'm not doing this ever. Like if you go by the the patent, I'm due for a good year, but. Uh, I just, it, dude. Plus the cost of electricity to run two eight-inch exhaust fans, fucking, you know, oscillating fans. That shit adds up. It almost takes the point away of the outdoor. You know, I'm trying to like minimalist shit, like Mother Nature. Yeah. You know, like, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm <laughs> not like, doing it this year. It's like uh, your weed going glamping. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You know, just fucking put up a tent. Sleep in a sleeping bag under the stars. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's it's too much. And then the other thing too, people need to consider: if you put your photos out too early, they start to flower, and then they then they reveg, like because the they they're not the lights are, you know all fucked up. The the sun starts changing and shit. And, uh, don't put if you're in the the northeast, don't put photo periods outside right now. Mm. They will start the flower and then they'll reveg and then they'll be all fucked up for two weeks, and you'll you're not gonna get a good, good crop that way. Well, my 
my fingers are crossed for you this outdoor season, my friend. Thank keep you. Us, I'm looking more forward informed. to the so the veggies and shit. I'm gonna grow some bomb ass tomatoes, some lettuce, yeah, some, me too. some green That's... beans. That's what I'm looking forward love to more stuff. than the herb. Not Peppers, gonna lie. I know man. this is a cannabis podcast, but I love like fresh vegetables from the garden. Like you said in the beginning of the show, dude, all that tasteless shit you buy at the fucking grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> Yeah, buy some non-triploid vegetable seeds and <laughs> just, yeah, marvel. Marvel at them. Fucking rev. An Italian guy growing tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do zucchinis, oh, yeah. uh, beans, you know, the, um, yeah, pole beans, row beans, um, a lot of different peppers. I like I like the spicy ones, but not listen, I can't like I tried to grow last year I had the uh scorpion peppers and Carolina Reaper peppers. I like our reapers. Dude, they are too hot. They are, but they're beautiful. <laughs> they are beautiful. That's why I grow them. Yeah, but I make like, an entire beautiful. pot of chili and I put one yeah. pepper in there. Yep. Exactly. It, it's like it's I only like go as hot, hot as hot. Ghost pepper is as hot as I'll go because there's still some flavor there. Like when you have all that heat with no flavor, that's what I feel Reapers are. They're just brutal fucking heat with minimal flavor, in yeah. my opinion. They they are a gorgeous looking pepper though. You can't deny that shit. You look at one of those growing on the fucking on the plant and you're like, huh. Yeah. Mother right. Nature's wild, man. I remember you grew the first time I saw it, it was those those chocolate peppers. Yeah, the big purple ones. Yeah. The purple peppers. Yeah, those are fucking... And then I grew some purple green beans. I remember I gave you some. First time I yeah, seen those, my, those my buddy gave me some too. Uh, Yeah. You don't see that shit in the grocery store. No, nah, man. There's, like, it, listen, it's like the the world of fruits and vegetables that are available for human consumption is vast. Like... The ones that won't kill you, also vast. Or, I'm sorry, the ones that will kill you, also vast. Be careful. But, like, we can eat a lot of different fruits and vegetables. It's amazing. And, like, they only sell literally, like, one strain, one specific strain of each fruit and vegetable at the store. It, it drives me insane. You can't find the proper peppers for certain recipes. You can't find, like... Truly, like all the strawberries just taste like potatoes. It's fucking bullshit. Farmers markets. <laughs> That's your answer. Yes. Or just or grow, grow your yourself. Own. Yeah, grow your own or, or support local farms. Or grow something yourself and then go to a farmers market and barter with the people who are there for other things that you didn't grow. Oh man, like you ever get that farmers market corn? Like middle oh, yeah. of August, end of August. It's just like bite into it. It's like. Oh, so sweet, delicious. Mm -hmm. It's like, again, you can't find that stuff in those triploid seeds at the grocery store. It's just not going to happen. So, yeah, very scary that we're seeing this stuff cropping up in cannabis like monsters. Yeah, said. man, I don't like it at all. Like I said, it doesn't make me feel warm and fuzzy. Really doesn't. And I don't want to be like Debbie Downer, but... When you start seeing that shit along with all the other bullshit going on in, in the world in regards to cannabis, uh, it's almost like in some ways where, you know, you might be taking a couple of steps forward, but then you take five steps back. And that, that's just kind of how I feel the state of cannabis is right now. Uh, well, it's I just all don't about like it. struggling for control. <sighs> yeah. Who has the power? Who can make the rules? And how do they make money based off of those rules? <laughs> and who's making the money? And we just want to grow a plant, man. <sighs> Jesus. I know. It's sad. But, you know, reality is tent pirates are going to do what tent pirates do. Arr. Yeah, man. Grow we, your own. We, uh, it's just, it's going to be that way. So... You know, one day, just wait until, like, it's illegal to grow your own vegetables. That's coming. One day. It'll be like a Soylent Green. You ever see that movie with Charlton Heston? Mm. Nope. It's from, what like, was that? 
um, late seventies. It's called Soylent Snow Green. Snowpiercer had a had a thing like that too. What what did you say? Snowpiercer? Have you seen that movie? No, no. Soylent no. Green is like it was people. This yeah. Was like bugs. Oh yeah. fuck! It was bugs. Oh, I don't know what. Well, it's like, what would surprise you more? I don't know. They already want you to eat the bugs. It's giants. Fuck. They already want you to eat the bugs. Yeah, listen. <laughs> go watch that that old movie, Soylent Green. Great movie. And it's amazing to me that they actually went and called a a consumable product Soylent. Like, it was people. Mm-hmm. It's. Doesn't make me want to drink that. No. <laughs> Not at all. But uh, yeah, G3. Yeah. Garden, garden wise. What, what's I going on? I have one plant and one plant only, and that is the sleepy wear cow, the uh, drowsy lobaca from Man. Alabrije. That is dropping in a couple weeks. That's boring as fuck. Why are you. I know it's boring as <laughs> fuck. I know. Why are you coming um, at us with one it's plant? It's terrible. Because I just took down four, All right. and I haven't planted any more, and I right. honestly don't know what I'm running next. I, I think... need you to pop some beans, okay? I know I need me to pop some beans, too. I just don't know what I'm going to pop. Hmm. It's always I have a, a giant choice. seed collection, and I don't want to grow, like, more than 50% of it right now. <laughs> so, I don't know. All right. Hit G3 <laughs> up with seed popping suggestions. A photo, yeah. eh? Yeah. Right. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. A you lot sure? of the seeds that I have that are food are seeds that I really want to grow or seeds that I want to mother. And I do not have the time or commitment level or wherewithal to be in that type of relationship right now. So, mm. you know what, though? It's like we always say it like mother plants don't need the same type of love and affection. Sometimes you can All leave those mama plants, plants out in the wilderness. You know what I mean? You can just like no. give them a little, a little CFL light. They don't need Not much. Not in G three's house. No, no, no. I take care I of my know, babies. I know you're <laughs> like that. I'm like that too. It's it's against my nature to like purposefully neglect a plant. But right, I couldn't like. Mm. I just. I don't know. Uh, regardless, I'll I, find I, something. I need I'm you to. Go through, yeah, you're, I'm gonna you're, go through you're, my collection tonight, and I'm you're gonna depressing find me with your one plant in a tent. Like it's just not acceptable. At least it's not zero. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. It's one. It's, it's one really, really, really good one. Right. So right. that makes up for it. All right. All right. All right. So myself, myself, I have a mm-hmm. a, a, no, a fun thing. I guess I could talk about. Like I. I went and splurged on some 420 sales at at our friends at Build a Soil. Got some, you know, cool new products I've always wanted to play around with. And the one thing that I'm like I'm pretty pumped on is this cover crop. I don't know why I, I never did it before. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. No, I just cover It's a crop? cover crop. Yeah. Yeah. But you ever do that? It's like I mean, Com- yeah, companion but I've never plants been that and like over other. It. Yo, I'm telling you, it looks awesome. It's cool. I got like, I, there's always like these little seeds popping up, and there's like life everywhere. Do you in use the like tent. nitrogen fixers and stuff. Like yeah, that? yeah, yeah. It's all it's all included in in the pack, and it's like you get like. Um, that's one of the coolest parts about it is that like these these plants can literally take the nitrogen out of the atmosphere. And then share it with your cannabis plant that's in the same pot. It's Are any of cool. these plants edible? Just that's at least my next question. Can you eat them? Yeah, yeah. So some of them are indeed legumes, as uh, five five one baked says. Yeah, beans. Just not sure if like they are edible or. Triploids or sterile like, or what? I don't I, find I have no... some nitrogen fixing <laughs> microgreens and grow them with your plants. <laughs> I'm sorry, G3. What, you what were you talking terrible. about? Microgreens? Microgreens? Yeah. Use microgreens. That'd be a cool idea. Crop, then you could eat them. 
I just think the whole concept is cool as fuck. I don't know why I never started doing this before. It looks it looks awesome. It's like I don't know, it's very aesthetic. Pleasing to the eye to see a bunch of other green and other life in your in your soil. It's just fuck, why haven't I done this before? It was like a thirty dollar purchase, not even. Um for how much? So Oh. Will that be in Bag lieu of bit. mulch? No. So, like, what I should have done is planted it before I had the mulch down on the soil. My bad. You know, I I had the mulch down first, so not all the seeds have sprouted. Whatever. It's. I get what I get. They yeah, live and but learn. What, what, isn't that one of the benefits of cover crop? It, like, it it's a in lieu of mulch in a lot of cases. Or, or am I wrong about that? I think it, you. If you have like a, a very thick layer of it, yeah, sure. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think in most cases, you you know your cover crop like grows up through the mulch. It's just best to plant it below the mulch. Okay. What do you use as your mulch now? Do you still use rice hulls? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Rice hulls are my favorite. I don't know. You know, I get them. I get them from the brewery I work at. So again, I have a huge bag of them. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> and they're, they're just a byproduct for them, right? Like they throw it out. So they they use them in the brewing process in like certain types of pilsner, um, like a cream ale that we make. It is it is just like a it's a it's a grain that you can incorporate into your brew. The hull itself, interesting. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's huh. uh, very versatile stuff, yeah. And it's I'm not the brewer again, so I'm, maybe yeah, I'm yeah, incorrect. Yeah. I know I've, I've heard of rice actually rice in the beer, but it's like why would they have this much? I don't know what else they'd be doing with it if they weren't brewing with it. It's like the bags well, and bags of this shit. I I just see I'm just so ignorant to it to process itself. I just assumed like it was the hulls from the rice and they were just throwing away. Like they no, because the they, they come in like pre-packaged huge bags of just rice oh. hulls. Yeah. Oh, okay. And already okay. just like shelled, and it's the, just the hull. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It's so condensed in this bag that I had to like drop it off my roof a couple times, and like <laughs> slam it against the pavement. Like I was like body slamming this bag of rice hulls to get it to break up. My neighbors thought I was insane. Pay no attention to the man beating up the bag. This what the hell is normal. that? Oh, never mind him, Martha. That's just him throwing his rice holes off the roof again. <laughs> Got that oh, damn captain's dude, hat on. Right. That's right. I did this. <laughs> did the stone cold stunner on that fucking bag of rice holes. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's um. For me, like, yeah, I'm, I got I, I got a lot going on. I got photos. I got autos. I have a couple autos that I'm about to turn on the auto pots and unleash, unleash the floodgates. You know, it's always an exciting time. They're in their final like, dry out cycle. Before you just let them have it. Mm-hmm. So, and then, I'm gonna chop two more like. I'm enjoying two that I just harvested. I'm chopping two more within the next two weeks. I'll be transplanting photos into the big tent. Like, yeah, it's all exciting. Busy, you busy. Know? Busy shit, yeah, yeah. That's right. Busy like a bee. Oh, my God. Did I, t- I didn't even tell you guys. The other day, I don't know how it happened. A massive hornet appears in my grow tent. It, it was not quite as big as one of those big, like, Japanese hornets, you know? That was like a cicada killer? Yeah, not, not like one of those, but it was a very large hornet or wasp, and i um, not quite sure how it got in my grow tent. It flew. <laughs> Probably, yeah, in from the air conditioning unit. A good guess, G3. <laughs> It's no, it walked. It, walked. it walked. So it, dro- it drove its car. <laughs> yeah. But... Pogo stick. I don't know. <laughs> but 
my my uh, response was just to seal the tent and uh, not go back in there for three days. So your solution is, this is a problem for future me. I just <laughs> sealed her up and I was like, you know what? That thing ain't going to make it in that tent. There's all sorts of hazards for a bee. I don't have to kill the thing. It'll kill itself. So is that what happened? Did it die? Well, I'm assuming that's the case because I haven't, haven't found the him? corpse, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it flying around either. So mm. who knows? It's just going to dive bomb me next time I go up there. I, I know it now. It's going to be terrible. At least it's a week from starvation at this point. Yeah, right. It's it's been I've laid the siege on it for a week now. It's been it's hungry, it's thirsty, it's got nothing. It's got nothing. All right, guys. Do we got any new new Patreons this week? We do. I know we do. Wanna give a shout out. I'm not sure if we gave him a shout out last time or not, but uh shout out to Opie. What's up, Opie? Yeah, thank, thank you. I remember you. Opie's name. Thank you, Opie. Well, regardless, I know Pete. I know we got a um, every single some, week. somebody commented that they got a shout out twice. So <laughs> sometimes we do that. Yeah. Um, shout out to Sajit. Shout out to like, Sajit. I'm not gonna dox you. There's probably millions of Sajits in the world. Uh, shout out to Dalton. Thanks, Thanks Dalton. Dalton. Thank you, man. Uh, Chef Shreds. Shout out to yeah. Chef Shreds. That's the guy I wanted to shout out to. I know he, um, yeah, we were talking about really growing growing peppers. And, uh, last but certainly not least, shout out to Yazid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. Yeah, we guys. It more awesome. Than you can know. Thank you very much. That's actually incredible. We love you. It means the world to us. It, does, it means a lot to us. It means that we can keep doing this. Yeah, right, right. Um, and everybody that tunes in live, we appreciate you guys. It's a solid crew. You guys are here every week, commenting. Yeah. Like a lot of familiar uh, listen, faces. If you're, uh, you know, no, no big deal. If you can't, it's it's tough to watch live, but we appreciate everybody. And for those of you listening, or maybe watching yeah. replay, we appreciate your support, man. We're just listening to the podcast version while you're making money at work. We are taking a dump on the clock, listening to our podcast, learning how to yeah. grow. We are thankful to be there in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one of the best parts of uh, you know clocking in. Sometimes you spend forty minutes on the toilet. Yeah. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I forgot to chime in though, not gonna lie. Terrified of wasp. I hate those fucking things. Ah, oh, dude. It was terrible, I'd rather fight man. a fucking bear in my grow tent than a wasp. <laughs> it's in it was bad, quarters. dude. It was bad, but uh Yeah, I'm gonna just yeah, I'm I'm very like I'm I'm traumatized, so I'm very mindful every time I go up there now. But you gotta find how he got in. I, I didn't like seal up the the AC um, the window all the way when I put the AC unit in, you know. So there's just a little crack. That. Yeah, had to have been. But yeah, um, thank you guys. You too, Monster G3. I don't say it enough, but I love you guys too. Oh, we love, love you, you too, Cap. Cap. You know, oh, you. thanks. It's all grower love. I oh, love you too, Monster. This is like the highlight of my week. Grower love. It is. Well, and um. Yeah, again, guys, we we want to warn you against, you know, hype trains and all sorts of and sudden crashes. <laughs> Listen, like I think I think it's just the the world of the influencer and like social media and all of this stuff, man. It's just it it really it boggles my my 80s brain like i was born in the 80s kind of grew up in the 90s in early 2000s this this shit is a whole new world man like this this is just you know doesn't make much sense but just beware i'm not making much sense now so we're gonna sign off until next time guys 
You know the rules. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> don't get caught. And don't get caught. <laughs>